Okay, this is uh, Ole Kumasov Studios, inside his studios. This is a uh, scene overlooking El Camino, right in front of the studio. You can see we have some cards, a table, as before, and all the uh, paintings along the wall there. Uh, today there's a small gathering of students that uh, here we have a student uh, doing a little project as you can see he's working on the nose, the face and the eyes there very nicely done in pencil. And here, here we have Mr. Alec Tumasaf overlooking um, the scene there. Okay. We're giving the student advice as to uh, how to approach the subject. Mr. Oleg Tumasov has uh, classes here on drawing, painting, all aspects of, uh, of art. If we can uh, call him over and maybe talk to him and ask him Hello, Mr. Oleg. How are you doing, sir? Very well. Uh, I see that you're uh, advising a student here about something there? Yeah, I was talking about proportions. Proportions? Yeah. Okay. Proportions, like sometimes, you know, when you draw some face, nose bigger. Yeah. Then the lips, the lips doesn't match the face. It's a proportion or ear bigger than the nose. Okay. Even sometimes people have big ears. All right. Nose. Big lips. Yeah. So, but need to match in the form of face, in the circle of the face. Okay. Okay. So that's what I was just giving little so tips for. Um, so she's doing an exercise uh, she's doing that exercise you have there for her? Um, okay, she knows. So mostly she's focusing on the nose, but now from the nose. Right. We see the face come up. Just exercise. Yeah. Uh, do you find that uh, drawing uh, what part of the facial anatomy is more difficult? The nose, the eyes, the, the lips? Well, it depends, is, right? Yeah, everything is difficult and it depends how you draw it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which level you go to achieving it. It looks really interesting. Yeah, it's more structural, you know? It's yeah. More, uh, more uh, with using more lines. Yeah. Know, preparing put some shading, put some structure, preparing for... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, is she doing it in pencil the there? Huh? In pencil? Yeah, this is pencil black and white. Oh, okay. Graphite pencil. Yeah. yeah. Well, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, she's uh, working on... Yeah. on the she's very talented. Uh, yeah. She she has, she doesn't have art background. Okay, so mostly people here doing, doesn't have or an art park professional background. art background. So yeah, you have to respect that because and uh, look at the work. I mean, just you know, draw before a couple exercises and they're already. You find that some people some people that don't have some people that don't have formal training. Uh, sometimes you find uh, a great talent. Yeah. yeah, some people have talent, natural, I would natural, say natural talent, yeah, yeah. natural talent, so it's easy to work with them, yeah. easier to work with them rather than somebody who are want to, yeah. they're working hard, it takes time for them to get to the level, for some yeah. it's just uh, natural ability to, yeah. to achieve certain things. Yeah, that's wonderful to know. Yeah. But you also have uh, students from the, the academies, right, that uh, come and, and... Prepare, yeah, prepare like that. Mexican girl, she's uh, in uh, Chicago, fine okay. art, yeah, she's going for bachelor degree, she was already in, in uh, institute. Okay. 
That's so wonderful. I prepare her here. We got we prepare a portfolio for her. Oh. She been selected for uh, Chicago Art University fine art, for the Bachelor of Degree in Fine Art. Wonderful, yeah. Was here in the studio. Sometimes you have uh, students that come in that don't have any formal education in the arts, but Not they want to. They want to continue, right? They want to continue. Yeah. Uh, Some of them just a uh, hobby, exercise. Just a hobby, yes. Just for, for yeah. Just to learn something to draw and and all that. Well, that's that's wonderful, Mr. Olek. It's. Uh, you can go check Zoya. Zoya is a shared background art. Zoya. Zoya, yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as we continue here, we approach uh, another uh, another painter. She's drawing a uh, painting. Her name is Zoe, and and she's drawing. Uh, let me come around here. As you can see, she's drawing a painting of. Uh, it's that vase over there. <laughs> is that a vase, Zoe? Yes, yeah, the vase over there. I'm just sketching. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're using a model, right? Correct. She's using this model right here of a vase. Later, the flowers. Um, what kind of subjects do you enjoy drawing, of it, uh, Zoe? Uh, is it Mostly um, still lives. Um, I enjoy still life. I mostly enjoy drawing portraits. Portraits, okay. It's a little bit more difficult, and I think it's a good challenge for a lot of artists. Yes. Um, you've done many portraits before. I've done quite a few. Mostly when I was um, studying art in school. Okay. Where where did you study art, by the way? Uh, I studied art at UC Santa Cruz. UC Santa Cruz. Interesting. Uh, did you, so you hold a degree from UC? I do, I hold two degrees, um, one in art and one in psychology. Oh, that's wonderful, yeah. So, uh, are you able to incorporate both, uh, uh, both, both, uh, both fields in, like, let's say, art in psychology and psychology in art, or? I mean, I think they, they kind of go hand in hand. Yes, they do. The way yeah. that you interpret other people and the world around you will naturally affect what you choose to draw and how you choose to express it in art. Yeah. And then I think it has an, it has an effect in the other, the other respect. Um, yeah. Some people, you know, there's art therapy. That's a growing field. Right. Uh, so art is a form of, of therapy. So yeah. I think they go kind of really closely together. Yeah, I've heard the term uh, art has a healing power, right? Yes. And there's a lot of psychology in that. A lot yeah. of people find it to be therapeutic. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I see the vase is coming along. Yeah, I'm just sketching. <laughs> yeah. All the shadows there. Yeah, very well done, Zoe. That, ladies and gentlemen, was Zoe. She's uh, a student and also uh, holds a degree in art and psychology. And uh, she uh, she's drawing a vase now. You can see that's the vase right. It's. Uh, then later the flowers. It's a beautiful piece. Nice subject to uh, to approach. These are the other um, paintings of Oleg's uh, studio here. Uh, he's got many many subjects. Still live, landscapes, abstract, and even some mythological pieces here. <laughs> okay, ladies, uh, we, we, we have a student here. As you can see, she's drawing a bird. Very nicely done there from, uh, from a picture. Um, and uh, 
She's uh, almost done with it, looks like. And uh, two birds on a branch, right? Is that two birds on a branch then? Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I've seen I've seen those uh, somewhere in the jungles of Central America or uh, somewhere, right? Very well. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. Very well done. As you can see, uh, uh, the students are pretty advanced here. They're able to do the drawings of shadow and branch. And uh, they have many subjects, many subjects that uh, our like students uh, like to draw here. So whenever you have time, ladies and gentlemen, just come on down and uh, talk to Mr. Oleg Tumusov and he will... Okay, that's... Uh, Marsha is Marsha. Marsha there. Yeah, Marcia is Thank you, Marsha, for showing me that. That's, that's Ma Maria's um, some of her work, like his butterfly. She has very specific oh, colors. Very yes. nice. Okay. Everybody recognized Masha because of the cows. If you see yeah. this one, for example, we have butterfly, right? Yeah. There is it's a beautiful um, piece. There is Masha's. She just started. I want to show you, but she started. This. Oh yes. Okay. Then what else Masha started? Masha started. She has another word here. Let me try find. You, you did all those, Masha? Yeah. Masha, you see this one? Okay, yeah. could you hold it there for a second? Yeah. Uh, oh, it's a cat, huh? But she, this is work on prog uh, progress. Work in progress. Work in progress, yeah. Wait a minute. So you can identify this with Masha. Yeah. So Masha has her own style. I know. It means that she has her own colors. Yeah. Colors, very specific. Very nice. Yeah. Now it's the ratio. Yeah, this one too. She has many projects, so she's working on it. Yes on multiple projects at the same time and also she draw all and she comes here for a while already yeah, yeah. so as you, as you can hear uh, you have students that have been coming in a long time and they have many projects uh, still live uh, portrait landscape and yeah, this is all work, you know, work in progress. What's this, this one here, Mr. Oleg? That one uh, looks a mythological piece this there. One, this one? Yes. This one is, yeah, this one is a uh, figure, figure painting. A figure painting? Of a, I think of a mermaid. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Well, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, you have uh, all kinds of uh, different portraits here. Uh, just come on down to Mr. Oleg Tumosov's studio. He's at 823 uh, West of Camino Real uh, on, in Mountain View near Castro Street. And he's uh, open every day. Just walk in and say hello. And if you're interested in taking classes, uh, by all means, uh, you're welcome. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, that's it.